Hi, it's Stephen Caleb again with Brownells, and this week we have another Smithbusters for you. Caleb, what do you got? Well, this one is uh, is a juicy one, Steve. It's juicy. a good one. All right. All right. So, did you know barrels, when worn out, will explode? Where did you get this one? This is a fact. It's a fact of life. It's a pipe bomb. You've been on the forums again, haven't you? I've been given information. <laughs> So, worn out barrels blow up. Is that what you're saying? That's what they're saying. That's, <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't stand by that. But uh, yes, that is, uh, that's the word on the internet street. Oh, are we talking pistols, rifles, shotguns? Barrels. Just barrels. 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 Well, I'm trying to imagine a scenario where the wear and erosion in a barrel could cause it to blow up. Because normally, barrels can, get bigger on the inside as they wear. I can think of one. Go ahead. You remember the old STG 44 barrels that were made to shoot around corners? The Krumlov. Yeah. So those those would kind of wear out in a way where they would kind of blow up a little bit. Okay. That's, that's about So if someone were to stick his barrel in a vise and twist on it really hard to curve it, he yeah. might have to worry about erosion. Yeah. That's the only uh, example right. I could... Right. As far as I know... Your, your chances of a blow-up decrease as the barrel wears because there's less resistance to the bullet. Exactly. And pressure gets away easier. So there it is. that myth is super busted. It's super busted because of that. But since we're here, we might as well what, talk about what exactly happens when a barrel does wear out. What, what's wearing out on a barrel when you hear the term worn-out barrel? You know? Well, it depends on who you talk to. For instance, a varmint shooter will tell you his throat is worn out. Yep. First thing, the lead going into the rifling. The rifling's still there, but that little forcing cone area where the bullet finds the rifling right will start to wear. That's that's that area right up in there for, for you and, visual guys. And that gives it more room to jump and kind of twist around, and it might not do it the same way every time, and that's when your accuracy goes downhill. Yep, and then uh, I've also seen some surplus old surplus stuff with just absolutely no rifling left in right. it. right a lot of that's from corrosive ammo mm -hmm. it didn't get cleaned on time or abrasive cleaning techniques that's where a lot of your 22s get uh, smooth board over yeah. the years because they're clean to uh, too much with brushes they don't need that much cleaning in the rifling that is also a very good example of a worn out barrel All right so there's a there's a few different definitions uh, depending on you know what the barrels being used for but uh they're all definitely definitions of worn out barrels. Yeah, exactly. But uh, as far as being dangerous, uh, as in a pipe bomb, no, not no, going to happen. Not going to happen. Consider that one busted. If you can think of any way wearing out a barrel would make it more dangerous, leave us a comment below. We want to hear it. I called dibs on the STG 44 one. Don't post that one. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time with another episode of Smithbusters.